Hi guys, hi all of my friends there. It's lunchtime and I have a really great recipe. I thought it would be great to share it all with you because it's really easy to make, it's really quick and it's, it's really delicious. <music> So the recipe would, in, would be the buckwheat spiral, but um, you can use any spaghettis you like or like pennies or whatever you like. I, I really like this one, the buckwheat. It's, it, if, you, if you would have a chance to go to the shop to, to do the grocery, try to find this one from organic and try to, to cook it. It's, it's honestly really delicious. You would love it. And it's of course very healthy and very easy to make. So first, we need to boil our buckwheat spirals, spirals, spirals. Yeah, we need to boil it first. Tomatoes with our garlic, some pesto sauce, and the uh, grape seed oil as well. So let's go and do it together. So the very first step is to boil some water and cook the buckwheat spirals. I use two tomatoes and grapeseed oil. It's really great. You can use the olive oil. I just I just want to use the grapeseed oil. And actually, I don't have uh, olive oil. It's finished. <laughs> I need to go to grocery again. So the pesto sauce. Oh, this is really great pesto sauce. What I suggest to buy from Auckland's groceries in, from Countdown and Buckwheat. So while we so actually I already bought the buckwheat spirals spirals. Tomatoes are ready to be cooked in the garlic is ready to be cooked too. Actually, we need to have a cheese. I use the Colby cheese because it's creamy and it's easy melting. So once I do this, when I, once I finish all cooking and adding the spirals, even the pesty, on the top of it I will put the cheese and it will be melted. Oh my gosh, it's super delicious. You will see and if you cook it, you will try it as well. one teaspoon of salt this and I'm mixing it up okay so I need to leave it for um, five or ten minutes okay so our uh, bucket spiral is cooked and the tomatoes are ready too so what we do next is we put the bucket tomatoes and we are mixing it up all together pesto sauce and put in there two, two spoons of pesto sauce just put it up here so one, once pesto sauce is there we just need to equally mix it all together it's very important that everything is mixed Oh, it's already smells so delicious and I'm so hungry. So this is actually an express way to cook spirals, spaghetti, like, and it is really delicious. 
So I'm cooking it now. Then I will eat and work, continue work on my. I will eat on my table because I did have work. I need to do it very quickly. So here is good. This our cheese. Oh my god! It's going to be really great. Great, great, great. <laughs> so happy to eat. Oh my god. So now we are covering it in decreasing the heat to five. So it's going to be melted and going to be yummy. Let's wait for it. Oh my gosh, look at this. It is so delicious. Ah, the old tea is melted and it smells so delicious too. Here it is. Oh, look how yummy and beautiful. Oh my gosh. So now let's try it together. It smells so good. Look. Just try it at home and let me know. Do you like it or not? Or maybe you come up with your own recipe if you want to share it with me so I can cook it as well and try it too. Mm. It is so delicious. All cheese melted, and tomatoes and all, oh, and sauce pasta is just brilliant.